Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper. In the last episode, we had beaten Rally and finished all of his world. So in this episode, we're going to go to Mesa City. Which is in Utah. I think. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. And this is like my favorite one because it actually takes place in America. Not because I'm like full of myself, but everything in this world is a little bit more familiar and makes a little bit more sense to me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand your pirate based world or your spoiler block. This one is. Did I just spoil something? No, I did not. Okay. I did not mean to spoil that. But, um... <laughs> I just spoil everything. This world, is, but this world literally makes more sense to me. Everything seems more familiar. Except this... Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Okay. And now begins the world. So this says this world's familiar to me. I don't think I've ever been near a place even close to Utah. <laughs> it's not familiar to me, never mind. I don't know, it's, 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 I guess it's just it's a little kid. It's, it's the fact the, that everything just felt like it should be more familiar. I don't know. I don't know what the point of making the world, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's a cool world, though. It really is one of the coolest worlds in the game. Uh, maybe the fourth one's pretty cool. Last one's obviously the coolest. But, uh... I also have the respect that they actually use real locations for this game. Um, that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool touch, sucker punch. I'm not even talking about all these secret locations I'm going to. Half this stuff done so far is secret locations. I actually remember my first time playing this game. I never grabbed one bottle. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. But, uh... Like, I, I didn't miss every single bottle in the game, but you, you get where I'm going. I didn't... Like, this one right here, I grabbed that, but I wouldn't have grabbed this one. Like, I would have... not even look at that one. I probably wouldn't have noticed. I just played through the game and didn't even stop to look. Screw you. Also, this guy. This is, like, the easiest enemy. Why does he remind me of George Lopez? I don't know where this is even coming from, but that guy reminds me of George Lopez. <laughs> I don't know why! I don't know. I just always had that idea that... Like, he would have been voiced by him. I don't know if it's the weight, or... I don't know. Something about him. This feels... <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know. Don't no. This is it's any it's anything but a racist comment. <laughs> Tell you that right now. It's anything but that. But it, it, it's something about him. There's a lot of weird things in this game that are like things. I played this game when I was really young, so I have a lot of weird thoughts like that. God damn it. Don't care. It, that dog reminds me. That, that dog is like a direct pull from that from that, that one dog from. Uh, don't get caught in the squashers, the squasher McJaggers. But um, is this the, the other dog I just killed was like a direct pull from that one dog in Time and Jerry, hands down. Only thirty. Wow. Don't forget this. This is really hard to do. Hey, I'm out here. What are you doing? <laughs> he just beat up the ground. Oh, fuck it. George Lopez dog. I don't even know, guys. I really don't. I really don't know where that came from. Okay, caught in the lasers. There we are. I missed one. Did I? Did I miss one? I think there's one over by the thing. But I certainly missed one. This is the end of level right here. Make sure I didn't miss one, because I would hate to have to go back. I think I already have to go back, but still. From what I've already played, I don't want to go back from any of that. The design in this part is just so cool. Um, the whole This whole level's got some really cool design. There's the last one right there. But I have to go back anyways. Because the thing's right there. On this uh, traffic light, I guess. It's traffic, not traffic light. Phone cable. Go up this phone cable here. That's, that's sort of familiar to me. There's, there's a little bit more of long line culture lights. The graffiti's accurate. That's better. And there is Outstanding. You've uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat. Oh, this one's useless. <laughs> it's good for some it's actually only good for one level in this game. I actually use it like crazy in that one level though. So, oh, I wouldn't say it's useless, but I would say it's kinda useless. But it is certainly an important one to have. Because you're gonna want this for um. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna describe what it does, just for any outer level, really. Um, you throw this, and it'll explode and hurt guards and shit. Well, flashlight guards are very prone to this attack, so um. Oh, wrong button. I forgot that this game doesn't have every other every other Sly Cooper game has. If you hold R1 down, you'll run faster. This game doesn't, and I hit R1 and it opens up the Banaki Com. The Benaki Con were put into the uh, left analog stick. If you press it like a button, you'll open it up. Which actually stumped me for a long time. I couldn't get it open. <laughs> there we are. And we're done. That was a short level. Also, the map is yellow now. That's a cool color. Yellow, yellow's my favorite color. Don't know why, it always was my favorite color, it just seems so cool. Things you can do with it. The designs you can make with it. Oh, L2 and R2. Change it, don't they? I forgot what's that. I think I should do the hardest level now, get it out of the way. Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. <laughs> that's the, is that you guys can tell how great that's about to become. Over here in this uh the boneyard casino. This is like a cool level. I, I love this level. Oh, look at that 
shit, that was crazy. Just open this place up. This is, oh, this is the one where you need the explosive hat. Just gonna say. Uh, cause this game, this part, this level, they play like kind of like Assassin's Creed. These guards. Um, and if you don't know what I mean, I'm saying that they they come if they hear a kill or something, or an alarm go off, or whatever, and they they hunt like a pack. Yeah, it's like Assassin's Creed. Don't get caught. I got killed. <laughs> I got killed. This like always. This level's a pain in the ass. Let's try it again. Some attacks will not actually trigger their guard guardiness. I think it's uh, safe to say this is not a good time. This is not. This is not going well. Oh shit! <laughs> These guards are so stupid. I'm sorry, guys. These guys are so stupid. I don't care what anyone says. These guards are really smart. Did I say stupid? <laughs> Attempt number three. Let's see if I can actually do it this time. Um, I'm going to roll over here this time. I'm going to try to sneak up from here and not get caught. Run. Run, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I got two of them killed. Don't know how. <laughs> this level... This level is so bad. I, I don't care what anyone says. This is a bad level. It's cool. It's well designed, but it is a it, it level standards. This is a bad level. No one likes this level. Playing this level, at least. Got him on my bad side now. Come on. Come on. I was so close to surviving there too. Let's try this again. Temp number five. I'm gonna run out of lives in this damn thing. Okay. Um, what we got here? Nothing that'll be in handy. I don't think you ever get any kind of long distance attack in this game besides the mine. Oh, got one. Oh, got three. That's all of them. Okay. I'm gonna break these things here because this level's really cool. Break all the cards and the in the this the uh, chips. I got a bag of chips right next to me. I don't know why I'm not eating them. Probably because I'm recording. Don't get caught. This is not working. Okay, these guys here. Um, there's ways of killing them, but the mine works the best. I'm just going to do this. Like any smart person would do. So many design things in this game that you probably couldn't do nowadays with your games. We're just gonna admit, like the like the uh, cigarette things and the, the ashtrays. I mean, or the uh, like the empty bottles and shit. Like, I'm pretty sure you can't do that nowadays in kids' games, can you? Because it promotes things that kids should not be doing. <laughs> that was great. Okay, I just fell on them and died. But the way this level is designed, you, you just know it's promoting things that should not be promoting. <laughs> one of the first things it's promoting, gambling. That's one thing kids probably shouldn't be doing. Because unlike most people, they're probably not smart about it. That's why we have... Well, actually, no, there are games that you can gamble in. I'm not going to say that's really a thing to promote. There should be a... Uh... I got coins. Don't know what the point of that is. Don't miss that one. I would not suggest it. Okay, should have. Oh, there's another one right there. Um, coins, 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 coins. Everyone 
build. Also, this is a little fun fact right here. You can actually get a bunch of coins for doing this, but. Break his legs off. There, Danny. Nothing like breaking a statue's legs. Anything. If you miss things in this level, you have to do the whole damn thing over again, especially at this point. Most especially at this point. Where am I at now? Where is Oh, it's more water. Okay, I was going to say, where is this? I'm going to go back on the land again. Also, how did the casino get flooded? I just want to be curious about that. What the hell do you do to a casino to flood the damn place? Oh, I guess I'm not doing this whole thing over again, okay. Okay, there's 35. 37. I missed 3. I always miss 3 in this damn level. And I always forget where them damn three are, too. Where are those three things? Oh, the way you can get the wrong idea for distance, these things. Oh, dear. So I'm not moving on anytime soon. I can actually just do the level again off screen. Or actually, off, ah, off screen. No, no, never off screen, but do the level again for sure. Get the thingy McJagger. The thinger McJagger. I'll do it again next episode. And, uh, there's a bottle right there. I missed two. I've now only missed two. Done. That wasn't hard. <sighs> That's it. That's all I'm going to do for this episode. I don't want to have to finish this level. And I don't want to start another level. And I really just want to stop playing right now. Because, uh, it's Sunday. I don't like going too deep into recordings on Sundays. I'll see you guys ne in the next episode. Where we'll get some more progress. I don't know what will happen. You guys just wait till then. <laughs>